Hello guys. Today we are going to study the horse cart problem which is a very good example and it illustrates the ideas discussed in the chapter Newton's laws of motion which you must have studied earlier. And it deals with the motion of the cart which is being pulled by the horse. Now suppose the cart is at rest when the driver whips the horse. The horse pulls the cart and the cart accelerates in the forward direction. Now guys the question arises here that the horse pulls the cart by a force F1 right and the cart pulls the horse in the backward direction with a force F2 and these forces F1 and F2 will be equal and opposite in nature as suggested by Newton's third law F1 is equals to F2 now from the third law of motion the cart pulls the horse by an equal force F2 is equals to F1 in the backward direction now the sum of these forces is therefore zero right then why should the cart accelerate forward I hope you got my question that F1 is equals to F2 by Newton's third law the horse pulls the cart in the forward direction with the force F1 and the cart pulls the horse in the backward direction with an equal and opposite force F2 then this system must have been at rest then why does it move forward this is the question now you just try to locate the mistake in the argument and if you remember that it is a scheme that we should first decide the system when applying Newton's laws of motion now here we can take the horse as the system or the cart as the system or we can take the whole as a system that is combining the horse and the cart together as a system fine now the force on the cart is F1 like if we consider the cart as a system then particularly on we are just considering this to be a system then on the cart forces F1 this is cart forces F1 now we are drawing uh, now we are just finding out the forces on the cart by drawing a free body diagram you can say and you know that the acceleration of the cart is also in the forward direction now the question here is what is a equal to what is a c that is the acceleration of the cart you will say that a c is f1 divided by mc mc is the mass of the cart this is we are discussing about the cart fine now just think carefully about this thing which I've just told you right now AC is equals to F1 by MC is it actually correct think carefully okay now we shall return to this question later on in this lecture now let us now try to understand the motion of the horse this time we have to consider the forces on the horse right the forward force F1 by the horse acts on the cart this F1 force is acting on the cart and this F1 force is applied by the horse on the cart. 
and it should not be taken into account when we discuss the motion of the horse because it is not in this because now we are considering the horse to be the system and in this we do not take f1 in account we'll take f2 because it is acting on the horse but f1 is acting on the cart by the horse okay Okay now, the force on the horse by the cart is F2 in the backward direction, right? Now we are going to discuss the horse. This is the force in the backward direction. This is F2, right? And it was in the backward direction now if it is in the backward direction then why does the horse go in the forward direction when being webbed the question arises here that if this force by the cart is in the backward direction and we have drawn the free body diagram of the horse it is in the backward direction then why does the horse accelerate in the forward direction when it is webbed by the driver think about it as we discussed earlier the horse exerts a force on the cart in the forward direction and hence the cart is accelerated forward but the cart exerts an equal force on the horse in the backward direction right then why is this not why is the horse not accelerated in the backward direction this is the question okay now just imagine how funny it would be imagine this situation that if the cart is accelerated forward from here that f1 is acting over here acceleration is also in forward direction okay that imagine the situation if the cart is accelerated forward right and the horse is accelerated in the backward direction then the horse will sit on the cart kicking out the driver and the other passengers right then it would be really a funny situation which is practically wrong it does not happen in real life right then where are we wrong what have we done wrong in these things the answer to this question that where are we wrong is that we have not considered all the forces acting on the horse now if we see over here the road pushes the horse by a force p which has a forward component like let us see over here this is the road and this pushes this is the force right which is applied by the road on the horse I'm not so good at drawing so please don't mind it and this force is gonna be somewhere here we consider this is a force P which is acting on the horse by the road and of course it has a forward component F okay Now this force acts on the horse and we must add this force when we discuss the motion of the horse. The horse accelerates forward if the forward component F of the force P exceeds 
this F2 force which is acting on the horse, right? Like here we saw that F2 is pulling it backward and now we have found out new forces that are acting by the road on the horse and it is in the forward direction, it has a forward component, this force P. P is the force acting on horse by road. Fine. And uh, it has forward component F, which is making the horse move in the forward direction. And for horse to move in the forward direction, this forward component should be greater than F2, right? Now, the acceleration of the horse would be, by Newton's second law, acceleration of the horse would be this force. Now, first we, we must consider the free body diagrams. The free body diagram of a horse corrected free body diagram these were wrong ones these are the corrected ones the corrected ones now the horse come here you notebook uh, yeah we were discussing the free body diagram the horse on the horse there is a force F2 and now there's a force F, the forward component. Then the and acceleration is also in the forward direction. Then acceleration is equals to F minus F2 divided by mass of the horse, right? This is a H. Fine. Now the horse accelerates forward if the forward component exceeds the force F2. The acceleration of the horse is F minus F2 divided by mass of the horse. And you must also note here that the force of gravity is also acting over here but it does not affect everywhere it is acting but it does not affect the motion in the forward direction so we do not care about it right now and now we must go back where we started where we said that the force must be the acceleration of the cart must be f1 by mc and i told you to think about it and tell me whether it is wrong or right but of course it is not always true that it is f1 by mc the road also exerts a force on the cart and this force uh, let us suppose that the force is q fine and uh, also there's a backward component of this force uh, let us name it as f dash fine and the force is f dash this is the cart now the f b d of cart corrected this is the cart and this is the force f1 that the horse applies on the cart and this is mg uh, leave it leave this force because it is not gonna change the horizontal movement the horizontal acceleration it does not affect it as it, is, as it is a vertical component you only need the horizontal components here and also a backward force that is F dash now it also moves in the forward direction right then what is the acceleration of the cart AC is equals to for the cart to move forward it is F1 minus F dash divided by M divided by MC let us see 
fine now the force is f this force and this f dash f and f dash are self adjustable forces fine and so to just adjust their values so that they adjust their value so that f1 minus f dash divided by mass of the cart is equals to f f minus f2 divided by m h okay that means this is the condition in a horse and cart movement that the acceleration of the cart is equal to the acceleration of the horse and their directions are also the same that is in the forward direction the acceleration of the horse and of the cart is equal to acceleration of the horse fine these are equal in magnitude and in same direction and hence they move together so once again I must remind you that only the forces on the system system remember the word system are to be considered to discuss the motion of the system and all the forces acting on the system are to be considered and you can only then apply the formula F is equals to MA this is the law right so I hope you like the video this is my first video please like subscribe and share Thank you.